Welcome dear listeners to another captivating episode of History of Image where we unravel the stories behind the elements that shape our personal image. From the way we dress to gestures and etiquette, we explore their origins and transformation over time. I'm your host Sonia Dubey Divan, India's first certified image professional and the founder of the Indian School of Image Management. Today, we embark on a journey through history to uncover the significance of a gesture that transcends culture and time, the handshake. Let's dive right in. The handshake, a seemingly simple gesture, carries profound meaning, bridging the gap between individuals and cultures. It's not just a physical act, it's a symbol of trust, respect, and connection. The way we shake hands has evolved over centuries, reflecting changes in society and culture. From the early days of humanity to the globalized world we live in today, the handshake has remained a universal symbol of greeting and agreement. In this episode, we will reveal the origins and evolution of the handshake. We will also explore the diverse custom that govern this gesture in different parts of the world. So get comfortable and let's uncover the fascinating history of the handshake. Our story begins in a time long forgotten. In the 9th century BC, amidst the tumultuous world of Assyria, Picture the grand halls of King Shalmanasar III, a powerful and cunning ruler. The air is thick with tension, and he comes face to face with a Babylonian counterpart, a ruler from a rival city. Two mighty empires on the brink of a war, and only one act can avert a disaster, that is, a handshake. In this defining moment, King Shalmanasar III extends his hand, fingers outstretched, the weight of an alliance resting on the simple yet profound gesture. In that clasp, the fate of kingdoms is sealed and the handshake becomes an enduring symbol of trust and cooperation. Fast forward through the mist of time to the world of epic poetry, where the illustrious poet Homer takes center stage. In his Iliad and Odyssey, he weaves the tales of heroes and gods, but it's the handshake that steals the spotlight. They occur not as mere formalities, but as a solemn act of promise, unyielding trust between warriors and allies. In ancient Greece, the handshake finds a place in the somber realm of funerary art. Imagine a world where gravestones bear witness to eternal bonds, where the living and the dead clasp hand in a final farewell. Here the handshake transcends the mortal plane, serving as a testament to enduring connections between generations. The Roman Empire, where the bastion of power, saw the handshake as a symbol of friendship and loyalty. In their bustling city streets, the clasp hand of citizens adorned coins, a timeless reminder of unity in the face of adversity. But as we dive more into the history, we discover that the everyday handshake, the one we know today, is a relatively recent development. Some suggest that it was the 17th century Quakers who brought forth this revolutionary idea, a hand clasp a simple yet egalitarian alternative to bowing or tipping one's hat. Picture a quacker meeting, a congregation of individuals who yearn for equality, who believe that the hand of friendship should be extended to all. It was this gathering that the everyday handshake founds its voice, a symbol of common ground that transcended social hierarchy. In the 1800, the world witnessed the formalization of this greeting. Etiquette manuals of the time meticulously detailed the proper technique for a handshake, known as Victorian shake. 
It was a handshake that had to be firm but not overpowering, a balance of strength and grace, a dance of trust and respect. In modern times, the handshake has evolved into an intricate language of its own. The handshake is commonly done upon meeting, greeting, parting, offering congratulations, expressing gratitude or as a public sign of completing a business or diplomatic agreement. In the world of sports, the handshake is not just a mere formality, it is a sign of good sportsmanship. It conveys trust, respect, balance and equality, uniting competitors in the spirit of a fair play. During agreements and pacts, the handshake is the key that unlocks their power, for the deal remains unofficial until those hands are parted. The handshake, traditionally with bare hands, has adapted to each situation. Though seeking a more casual connection, there's the fist bump, a symbol of camaraderie and solidarity, where clenched hands meet knuckles to knuckles. In politics, Every gesture carries weight. The hand hug, a unique handshake style, has become favourite among politicians. This embrace of clenched hands, coupled with enveloping warmth of the free hand, creates a cocoon of trust. It paints politicians as warm, friendly, trustworthy and honest, but also as skilled communicators. Yet, in the wake of COVID-19 pandemic, Handshakes took a backseat to public health. Countries and organizations worldwide urged us to adopt alternative greetings to replace the tactile connection with gestures that kept us safe. During the COVID-19 pandemic, several countries and organizations adopted policies encouraging people to use alternative modes of greeting instead of a handshake. Suggested alternatives included the elbow bump, the fist bump, the foot tapping, or non-contact actions for social distancing purposes, such as the namaste gesture. Now that we are well versed with the origins and evolution of the handshake, let's get to know more about different type of handshakes practiced across the world. In the English-speaking world, the handshake takes on multiple roles. Business meetings often begin with a firm grip of the right hand, standing tall with unwavering eye contact, a sign of respect and equality. However, in casual non-business situations, a striking gender disparity emerges with men more inclined to embrace this age-old gesture. Russia hides an interesting handshake tradition, here, it is a masculine affair with women seldom partaking in the ritual. It's a world where secrets are exchanged through clasp hand and the bond formed is unspoken yet unbreakable. In Switzerland, there's an expectation that women should be greeted first with a handshake. In Morocco, a soft handshake amongst individuals of the same gender is accompanied by a kiss on each cheek. The lips never touch the skin, unless they share familial ties. In Armenia, handshakes are the common greeting between men with the option of a cheek kiss to symbolize close ties. Tradition dictates that a woman must wait for the man to extend his hand, while women often opt for hugs and cheek kisses when greeting other women. Handshakes in Asia are a sign of respect as much as they are a greeting. In China, Age takes center stage in handshake etiquette where the elderly receives handshakes before others. The preferred grip is gentle with a curious practice of holding hand for an extended moment after the initial contact. It's a sign of respect. In South Korea, as a sign of deep respect, the right arm is gently held with the left hand while shaking. The other hand in pocket is a no-go while handshaking and is considered disrespectful. In India, the namaste gesture, often combined with a slight bow, replaces handshakes in most situations. However, 
business and formal settings embrace handshake as a sign of respect. Liberia introducing the snap handshake, a customary conclusion to the handshake where shakers snap their fingers against each other. It's a rhythmic and unique way to seal the deal. Thank you everyone for joining me in today's episode. We have dived into the fascinating world of handshake, exploring their rich history and the various type of handshakes practiced around the world. Stay tuned for our upcoming episode where we will continue our journey through the realms of history and tradition of image. To stay updated, don't forget to follow us on social media using the link provided in the episode description. This is your host, Sonia Dubey-Divan, signing off. Until then, take care and see you next time. Remember, image matters.